Hello folks, today we're going to be talking about chat triggers and some advanced usages of them. First, let's review what an actual chat trigger looks like and how it works and etc. So you have an assignment script, you have on assignment, you have triggered name chat state true, and in your interact script you have chat trigger 1 because you have to number or label all the chat triggers just to keep them separate, and then trigger, then in slashes hello is the trigger word, and then friend which is just text surrounding it and then script followed by whatever you want to run for example chat hello to you too friend so let's try that says you say hello and he says hello back perfect so let's go on to something a bit more advanced for example did you know that you can specify a radius argument here to specify how far away that you can speak to the NPC from for example 20 that's in blocks so 20 blocks away and let's denizen reload scripts scripts we see assign set my assignment script and if we say hello up close it works if we go way over here and say hello it still works now the default is three blocks but you can change that through this radius arg but if you want to go back to three blocks after setting it you can just remove the radius argument because of how the trigger command works, you actually have to now specify a radius argument to keep the radius down. And now, it doesn't work anymore. So that's just one quick advanced thing. Another cool thing is the context.message tag, which looks like this. You said context.message. If we reload scripts, we don't have to reassign. Say hello. You said hello. If you say hello potato, you said hello potato. It real it sees the full message you sent, even if it cuts off here. So that's a useful feature, and it's also something you've got to be careful with because it might not work how you expected. For example, one common mistake is doing something like this: if context.message equals my secret password all right you win so let's reload scripts say my secret password oh hold up if the message is hello my secret password hello my secret password you win now watch this not hello. You still win because we wrote not, which message up messes up the ifs command. You have to do if context.message.escaped equals that. And now try saying hello. And if we try the password. So let's look in the, the debug to see how that worked. If we go up to where we said the hello with an exclamation mark in front of it, we see context.message.escaped didn't fill it with exclamation mark hello, filled it with and x hello, and x being the escape code for an exclamation mark, rather than the mark itself. This will break just about every possible thing Denizen could possibly misinterpret, so it's pretty much a safe system to use. All you got to do is add dot escape to whenever you're dealing with player input. But be careful because you also now can't do like say hello exclamation mark my secret password because it's escaped you have to do hello and x my secret password we have a reference guide to all the escape keys i'll link it in the description so another cool thing you can do is use regular expressions or regex for short that looks like this regex dot plus script narrate what Let's see what that works like. Denizen reload scripts. If we say hello, the first chat trigger fires. If we say potato, it asks what? Because this regular expression matches any input at all. 
Regular expressions are a cool way to match large ranges of input rather than specific words. So this one is anything. You could also say slash d plus. And let's try that. If we say potato, no reaction. If we say three, sorry, three, it asks what? Because slash d plus matches any numbers. There is a ton of stuff behind regular expressions. It's a really complex system. It's basically a language on, on its own. We just kind of use it here. So I'll link you link you to some guides that will help you learn regular expressions. You don't really have to learn them. You just got to know the basics, which, well, I've covered the two most common ones. But if you want to know more, there are a few sites to help you. The first one is regularexpressions.info. This is a quick tutorial guide. It shows. It teaches you all the basics. There's a ton to it. I have not explored it much. I don't like it much. I prefer the Wikipedia page on regular expressions. It's pretty freaking detailed. For example, here are some of the characters you can add. Here are some other characters. Here's a bunch of random other stuff. There's a ton to it. So you don't really have to learn it all, you just got to know the basics. And this is a handy reference guide if you're trying to do something in advance. Otherwise, you can always ask on URK where, where some people will be able, able to help you with right, regular expressions, just like they can help you with denizen scripts. It's a pretty helpful URK, trust me. So something you can do with regular expressions is also you can narrate context.keyword. So if you say regex potato, So oh, potato, three, there's three potato, if you say three taco, the context dot keyword rather than being the full message of three taco is just the three, which is just what the regular expression matched. We'd implement it for the regular chat triggers too, except you kind of already know what the matched word is because it's right here written between slashes so it's not needed there as with context.message with a keyword you should probably escape it unless you have a pretty good reason not to one thing you can do if you really hate yourself and want to test how strong your server is how well made your server is you can do this parse context.keyword so if we reload scripts we can now do things like player.name and it fills with the player's name players can put input any tag they want and that's a pretty good test of whether you have any screw ups in your server that could potentially be security holes in which case they will be exploited pretty quickly I've actually enabled this on my own server because I'm confident in how it is if you go to our ERC channel you can actually type tag say p at make monkey forever dot uuid and my server runs an erc bot which will fill the, the tag information this is meant to test out tags but it's also a test of the security on my server and i feel confident that no one will break it you're welcome to come and try well that's all there really is to chat triggers there might be some more that i'm forgetting but we'll cover those in future videos if there are Regardless, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more videos as they come out. Otherwise, keep watching the tutorial video page. Bye.